I first encountered NBC about 20 years ago when my now adult children were between the ages of two and 10. I have one last teenager in my home, and I think she's the luckiest of them all because having parented three other teens before her has given me experience, insight, and patience. So imagine this recent scenario. It's three in the afternoon, and my 13-year-old and I are supposed to be walking out the door by 3.15 in order to get to cheer practice on time. As I gathered up the last of my things, she walked in with a frantic look on her face and an energy that tells me a teenage meltdown is seconds away. My energy starts to build up anticipating the fireworks. Last minute meltdowns that interfere with our activities are so familiar. Noticing that I'm getting anxious and shaky, I take a deep breath and calm myself so that I can respond with curiosity and warmth. This is, a, this is very different than how I reacted when her oldest siblings were her age. I say, hey, big kid, is there anything I can do to help you get ready? Loud words with a hint of tears come out. I think I ruined my hair. I don't know what to do. Meanwhile, I'm looking at her and thinking, your hair doesn't look ruined to me. It looks like it always does. Thankfully, I bite my tongue and respond with words that let her know she's been heard. Yikes, that sounds terrible. What happened? She replies with a slightly quieter tone. I think the curling iron was too hot and burnt my hair. It's all uneven now. I reply, were you trying to get it out of your face for cheer practice? Does it feel like that's a losing battle now? Do you want some help? Her tone remains even. I don't think there's anything you can do. It's just ruined, but maybe. I reply, I don't smell burnt hair or see frizzy in, so maybe it just needs a little more work. Can I give it a try? My gentle suggestions were accepted. We spent the next 10 minutes working on her hair. I saw and felt her energy relax and we got to a place of good enough. And guess what? We left very close to on time and she wasn't even late to class. Thinking back 20 years, the same scene might have ended with tears and either a late arrival or not going at all. My years of NBC study have helped me see how my energy impacts my children. NBC taught me to stop for a moment recognize my reactive state, and offer myself a word or two of self-empathy, and then show up with an energy of love and support.